All right, our next example is we are going to try and find theta. Try and find the angle given that theta is in between 0 and 2 pi. So we are told sine of theta is equal to 1 half. So what we're going to do is first we're going to think where is sine positive? Because one half is positive. So in what quadrants is sine of theta positive? So sine of theta is positive in the first quadrant. That's a really ugly right triangle, my apologies. Sine of theta is positive in the first quadrant. And sine of theta is positive in the second quadrant. All right, so it says sine is one half, so opposite over hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse. And we know this is a special right triangle, so this is root three, and this is negative root three. So this is one of our special right triangles. It's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Across from the 30 is one, Across from the 60 is root 3. Across from the 90 is 2. So in this instance, theta is 30 degrees. Or in radians, that would be pi over 6. Over here in our second quadrant, this angle right here is 30 degrees. This is 60 degrees. Which if this is 30 degrees, this whole angle is 150 degrees. So our angle is 150 degrees or 5 pi over 6. So there are two quadrants where sine is positive, so I'm going to have two different angles. That will give me sine theta equals 1 half. Our next example is cosine of theta equals negative root 2 over 2. So we have to figure out which quadrants is cosine negative in. So cosine is negative in the second quadrant and cosine is negative in the third quadrant. All right, so it says, here's theta, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, and we know that this, if you do pi bag, this would have to be root 2. So this is an isosceles right triangle, meaning this is 45, 45, 90, which would make this 180 minus 45, which is 135. So 135 degrees, or in radians, that would be 3 pi over 4. Over here, this would be 180 plus 45. Which would be 225 or in gradients, 5 pi over 4. And then the next one where is secant of theta undefined? which secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So really this is asking, where is cosine of theta equal to zero? Since secant is one over cosine of theta, if we can make cosine of theta equal to zero, that would make secant undefined. So where is cosine of theta equal to zero? Cosine of theta is equal to zero here at pi over two, and down here at three pi over two. 
So where is secant undefined? Secant is undefined at pi over 2, aka 90 degrees, and at 3 pi over 2, aka 270 degrees.